So the spreader bar is just for when you're letting down, it doesn't tingle on your line. So you know, so you've got spreader. you got two different size spreader bars, and I like them um, for one for one reason mostly is because they don't get tangled up. You're always fishing as long as you make this leader about close to the same length as your longer bar. Then when this goes down, you can free spool it. When this goes down, this stays away from your main line and doesn't get tangled up. Right? Is that fish would have to have a corner to meet? Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah, those ones. We'll start with those ones. See how we do. So we're in 208, and we got a bunch of bait right underneath us now. I like. I really like having this on the back deck. So we're right here. We're in 210 feet and all the baits right there. So actually I nailed it pretty good. So we'll see if there's any fish with it. So this is your, that, that relaxes your drag, but you just gotta hold your thumb. If you put a little weight on it, it'll just take off, make a bird's nest. So always put your thumb on it. You can kind of control it. If you let it off, it'll kind of backlash. Like then when you get down there, you click it. He's already got the drag. I think it's that where he wants. It's pretty tight, but that's all right. Here's your drag if you needed it. You can loosen it up just a little bit. Just leave it where it is. They're about 18 pounds. You're going to need it. So just make sure to keep your thumb on it. Kind of keep enough slack in there. Your weight's not beating on the side of his boat because he'll start hollering at you. And then we can bring it in. Put this yep, you're always going to hang on to your balls. Yeah, if your balls start beating on his on the boat or beating against me and I like, get a little tight. I always I always put it somewhere it's always controlled either especially when I'm baiting your hook or yeah there you go buddy you want it on the line or are you running it on your on the brass you get this one line oh, I don't care that's just for adding extra weight let's run it let's run it on the brass that way it just oh. it won't get tangled as easy on the brass yeah. yep run that circle right under here That way it'll be a little shorter. So the spreader bar is just for when you're letting down, it doesn't tingle on your line so easy. Oh, all right. You know, so you've got, you got two different size spreader bars, and I like them. Um, for, one, for one reason, mostly, is because they don't get tangled up. You're always fishing. As long as you make this leader about close to the same length as your longer bar, then when this goes down, you can free spool it. When this goes down, this stays away from your main line and doesn't get tangled up. So it just, when you just drop it, if you make it really long, then it'll always tangle up. Um, you can run the longer spreader bars or you can run the shorter ones. This is a double J hook rig and we've got circle hook rigs also, but we're, I think we're everybody's going to be fishing J hooks today. But the key is, hey Jack, the key is when you're fishing these, okay? What you want to do is you want to call the fish to the to the boat or to your bait, right? So you want to use your rod tip as close to the say this is the water. Yeah. You want to hit bottom right close to the water and then bring it up about a foot and a half to two feet off the water. So you're using the water as a reference. So if you if the if say we're drifting or we get pulled over on some shallower water, then when you hit bottom it's going to be up here, right? Yeah. So you just reel down and always keep it low. So what you want to do is you want to be able to tag the bottom, kind of drop it kind of hard, and pick it nice and slow. And what that does is that concussion will call the fish over. If you miss a fish, hit it a couple times quick, and then pick it up and hold it. And they'll actually come back and smack it again. Okay? Okay. Um, i got to put some clips on those. You got the bait back there? Is it okay you want to let those guys down or what? Um, sure, you guys can let them down. Go for it. All the young girls watching the channel are going to be like, who's that good looking dude? <laughs> yeah. In the orange? In the orange concrete jacket. <laughs> exactly. Hey, he's a worker. <clears throat> We're going to get way more views now, Jack. <laughs> Look at the hair on him. <laughs> Cast out? Nope. Hey. You don't cast. Pick, pick, pick the rod up. Alright. There's no cast in hell up in here, really. Josh is going to like to do it, but. What are you doing? Just, Just don't Allison it. Drop it. 
Okay, so when you drop it in the water like that, okay, pick it back up. See this? What? No, just pick straight back up right there like this. See how this is wrapped? This always has to stay up. All right. Okay, so if you get a big fish on it, it'll break it right here. The line will dig in and it'll break the it'll break your your main line. So go ahead and send her down. We're gonna run a little bit of pink salmon, we're gonna run some herring. A little frozen. Where's that bait at? Jackhead, it'd be funny as shit. The first fish you have to make. Josh? Josh, you want to let this down? Uh, Bro, I was trying to help him out for a second, make sure. Get, get some gear down. The more gear we can get down, the better the chum. Yeah, don't ever cast unless you're me. What a beautiful day though. Calm. Yeah, that wind died down. That's, That's good. That's gorgeous. <laughs> Especially for this video. We got the canner man in a white what pair of doing? Adidas with his little shorts on. His hair's all up in a bun. You're looking good, bro. <laughs> You're looking a true Alaskan right here. Trying, man. <laughs> Fitting right in. I like it. You're not from California, right, though, originally? No, yeah, no, there, there, no, no. There isn't any I'm, porcupine on this island at all. There, you got some porcupine over there on that one, though. <laughs> I don't think I got that one. Me neither. <laughs> really? It went over my head. You, you really? I got. Are you that? Are you? Are you? You're not awake? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> About the porcupine? Does my head look like a porcupine? Oh my gosh. We discussed this. What? On the phone? I'm I'm missing it. You yeah. are bad. <laughs> <laughs> Con include me in on here. What's that? Con Con, Con wasn't here. I wasn't here. Oh. Josh was. I'm, I was. Yeah, Josh was. Porcupine. <laughs> Are you serious? Are you serious right now? Yeah, I don't remember. Talking about the one I killed or what? Wow. Holy cow. <laughs> I cannot believe you don't remember that. Is that from last year? No, it's from this year. We even discussed this when you were in Catch Can. About the porcupine. We can have so, all made for. All right. <laughs> so this was my plan. I was like, I got to have, I'm going to have, because I don't like the camera in my face all the time. Oh. Like, he's yeah, he's me. like so brain dead. <laughs> I just oh got to go with this. I, I mean, forgot. I cannot. We talked this like four I times. I forgot what our keyword was. Don't, don't explain it. <laughs> you got to let us all in on the word now. Is that your safe word? <laughs> kind of. I just ruined it. Sorry, man. <laughs> yeah. So I was gonna get you. It was kind of a prank in you. Okay. And I was like, hey, every time I talk about a porcupine or something, I want you to get right in my brother's face with that camera and you start asking him all these technical questions. Well, that's really what I want to see. <laughs> I know, that's exactly it. He just, I we, could not believe, gotta, asked you like five times. And was we like, gotta, what? We gotta make a new word now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I no, know, no, no. Got, we'll have camera to put gets no in my face. I'll be like, we'll get the no cards on your camera so you can remember. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe I forgot about that. Me neither. All right. Okay. 
Yep. So the spreader bars are awesome, but a lot of them come with pretty flimsy swivels. Um, if you get a 200 pound halibut, a lot of times it will take this swivel and it will just crush it in and then pop open and you lose your fish. And it happens a lot. So I modify these a little bit with these 150 pound scissor clips. And I've never had one come apart. I've never, uh, they, they are awesome. So what I do is I leave the actual ball bearing swivel on here. And these are not good ones. So I just cut the clip off, the ball bearing swivel. I'll leave this one because that one's gonna go to my lead. Your leader always goes to the long bar. Your sinker goes to the short bar. So it's still, this one I'll put my sinker on. It'll hold the sinker fine. But for these guys, I put these 150 pound scissor clips on there and now that fish will not come off. Just makes it a lot tougher rig.